so grateful. Now today, my parents brought this balloon for me to celebrate my birthday. But I, I have some, how do you say, different plans for this in the garden. So what I want to do is I want to use static electricity to attach or attract this balloon to a rod. How do I do that? Well, I'll start using our rod and a sheet of fur. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this fur and I'm going to rub it all around. All the electrons from the fur is going into the rod. Now I think that's enough, and let's see what happens. Oh, okay, but voila, you saw they got attracted to the rod. So now, let's put that down over there, and I want to invite three of my family members now. My mother, my brother, and my father. Happy birthday no, no, stop, to stop, 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 stop. No, 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 stop. Not yet. Not right now. What? First, I want to give you guys a contest, a challenge. Whoever can attract this balloon to a rod using static electricity that for the longest time loves me the most. Now you all can go. Spread it. Go, go. And it appears to be mom. All right, ready? Three, two, one, toss. And that's tail. That must have been Lisa. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. wow. There's only one more contender, so uh, no hiding that. Come on, come on. On January 3rd, he received the Global Child Prodigy Award from Nobel Laureate Kailash Satyarthi at Delhi Ashok Hotel. On January 4th, he gave a physics and computer science lecture at Ruia College in front of hundreds of students. At the Great University of Pune, he will give a historic book talk which is based on his book, The Love. <laughs> now let me ask you a question right off the bat. Do you need a bow tie to be a physicist? No. All you need is perseverance, hard work, and a dream of becoming Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein someday in the future. But if you want to be a fancy-looking physician, then you need a bow tie. 